And we begin tonight at 11 with a literal change in the political landscape for some California lawmakers as one incumbent announces that he plans to run for re-election. Another announces his retirement. California Congressman Josh Harder announcing his re-election bid today, but for a different district. Harder announced he is running for the new 9th Congressional District because the political maps were just redrawn. The new boundaries encompass the majority of San Joaquin County, including Tracy and Manteca. Harder already represents those cities. The new district also includes parts of what had been Representative Jerry McNerney's district, and he is not running for re-election. KCRA3's Orko Mana is live in our newsroom tonight. After talking to Harder about these changes, Orko. Well, ED, Representative Harder says the new lines as a result of the redistricting are not the best, but he's taking the changes in stride. He tells me the new Congressional District 9 is his best path forward, especially in light of Jerry McNerney's retirement announcement. Yeah, I've been really proud of what we've been able to accomplish in just our first couple of years in office. California Congressman Josh Harder tells me he's ready for what's next. Despite the changes, the Democratic representative from Modesto announced his reelection campaign Tuesday for the new 9th Congressional District instead of his current seat in District 10. That's because of redistricting. To look at the at the map and sort of see our community split into a couple different ways uh, is a little bit frustrating. This map on the We Draw the Lines California website shows what the congressional districts currently look like with pink lines separating each area. But after redistricting, the purple lines show what each congressional district looks like for the 2022 election. Congressional District 10, which used to be the southern part of San Joaquin County, is now in Contra Costa County and includes Walnut Creek and Clayton. I think uh, it's not exactly the, the lines that, that I would have drawn. But the new Congressional District 9 encompasses the majority of San Joaquin County, including Tracy and Manteca. Harder already represents those cities. The new district also includes parts of what was Representative Jerry McNerney's district, but he just announced his retirement, so he is not running for re-election. He's done a tremendous job, and um, it'll, be, it'll be sad to see him go, but I wanted to make sure uh, that we were doing everything we can to pick up the baton and still continue uh, to work on all the same issues that I know he's prioritized uh, as well as what, we're, what our office has done. Harder telling KCRA 3 McNerney's seat being wide open sealed his decision to run for District 9 instead of District 13, which some had thought he might go for. I think the 9th Congressional District uh, makes a lot of sense. It's essentially San Joaquin County. Um, and I think if you look across Lodi, Stockton, Manteca, uh, Tracy, there's very common issues. So I think this is the best continuation of the work we're doing, and I'm so excited uh, to, to work for the future. Harder also tells me consistency is key, and that's why he's the best person to lead the new Congressional District 9, as it already includes some cities he currently represents. Live in the newsroom tonight, Orko Mana, KCRA 3 News. Orko, thank you for that report. And as of right now, there are two other candidates running in the new 9th Congressional District. That includes Democrat Harpreet Chima, who is currently a clinical lab researcher at UC Davis. Chima says he has the most progressive platform out of the announced candidates. Candidates. He tells KCRA3's Orko Mana that he's running because his priorities align with the average worker. And I, you know, felt like I someone had to step up and run and try to fight on behalf of just the average American worker, regardless of which party they're in, regardless of, um, you know, who they're supporting. You need someone in Congress who's willing to take on some of the major corporations and the wealthy donors and fight on behalf of American workers. And Republican Tom Patty, who currently serves on the San Joaquin Board of Supervisors, is also running to represent the 9th Congressional District. He has spent his whole life in that region and has worked with many government bodies and nonprofit organizations. He told KCRE3's Orko Mana that his wealth of knowledge makes him the best candidate. My experience serving as a county supervisor, I believe, has given me a great advantage and a front row seat to the needs of our community. I'm looking forward to being their voice in Washington and representing locally the best interest for this region. The primary election is coming up on June 7th and the top two candidates will move on to the general election in November.